Hello, beloved. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, bringing you spiritual truths through poetry. I also bring you greetings from Chesapeake Christian Center in Chesapeake, Virginia, where life is unlimited. My purpose is to encourage, uplift, and inspire you to be your best for Christ. And I'm here again today with more Motivation on Monday. That's M-O-O-R-E, Motivation on Monday. And the poem and message for today has been adapted from my first book, O is for my soul and it's entitled your rock is not enough david killed goliath with a slingshot and a rock in the natural that seems preposterous but when god's involved it's not the boy ran quickly toward the battle line with everything he had goliath cursed him up and down that giant was armor clad david swung the slingshot around his head and the rock he then let fly god took the rock and guided it goliath was destined to die the huge philistine was struck in the head and knocked down to the ground but if not for god's anointing the tail would be turned around so David's rock was not enough to kill a giant big and tall. Only God's power was enough to make Goliath tumble and fall. Are you in a situation where your rock is not enough? Just admit to God you're overwhelmed. Things have gotten way too rough. The best thing that you could ever do is to cast your care on God. The battle certainly is not your own. For him, nothing is too hard. All you need to do is close your eyes and sling your rock and pray and ask the Lord to hit the mark and victory is yours today. He will take that rock midair take it to its target is true your giant will be brought down for sure god will surely fight for you remember it's not your ability that will bring you safely through but god's power coupled with your best only that combination will do so when the devil tries to tell you your rock is not enough just tell him you know what you're right and allow god to strut his stuff amen and David put his hand in his bag and took this of stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. First Samuel 17 and 49. I remember back in the day when Bishop B. Courtney McBath, senior pastor of Calvary Revival Church in Norfolk, Virginia, gave an excellent message entitled, What Do You Do When Your Rock Is Not Enough? That was the inspiration for the poem I just shared with you. Bishop preached from 1 Samuel 17, which gives an account of David's battle with the giant Goliath in the Valley of Elah. In that passage, the shepherd boy constantly talked about what God would do. In verses 45 through 46, he says, Thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, who thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. He didn't go before Goliath talking about the five smooth stones he had in his bag. He knew wholeheartedly that his rock was not enough. He totally depended on God to make the difference. And I remember a time when I felt my rock was not enough. Some of you may or may not know I was an industrial engineer in my former life. Thank God I escaped that prison. That truly was not my calling, but I believe God will use everything we go through to prepare us for our destiny. Amen. But anyway, I was in an engineering class where we were told that we were going to have to do a computer simulation project and work in groups of three to complete it. After I went to the first class, I found out what I was truly in for. I was terrified. I felt that I just didn't have what it took to get through that class. And I ran back to my room, got down on my knees beside my bed, and I fervently prayed to God telling him that if he didn't help me, it was no way that I was going to make it through that class. I implored him, God, help me pass this class because if I fail it, I cannot graduate this semester. The next day, I went to my professor's office where he told us there will be a sign-up sheet for us to choose our work group. As I looked at the sign-up sheet for the groups, I asked the Lord, which group should I sign up for? I wrote my name down and left the office. We were given our assignment as a group in the next class session. I met with the two individuals and received my portion of the assignment I was to work on. I wrote computer code to the best of my ability with the help of the Lord and I did all that I was assigned to do. And when I signed up for the group, little did I know that the guy that was in our group turned out to be an absolute computer guru. And when it was all said and done, we were the only group in the class to receive an A on our project. I'm not saying that to brag because I know that my rock was not enough. It was no way I was going to get an A in that class without the help of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So how do you handle your giants in life? 
What do you do when your rock is not enough? The only way to successfully handle what you are facing when it's bigger than you are is to admit you are totally inadequate for the task, do your best, and depend on God to make the difference with his power. And if you follow that paradigm, you too will defeat every Goliath that comes your way. Amen. Now let's go out and make it a good week. Remember to call on God when your rock is not enough. And by the way, don't forget to check out my blog at TracyLmore.com. And while you're there, you can sign up to receive my bi-weekly newsletter as well. If this content has blessed you, please click the like button below, share it with others, and click the subscribe button if you're watching on my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, signing off, and I look forward to seeing you next week. May God bless you real good.